there welcome to my youtube channel again in last video we had done uh, some basic setup of our project so in this video i'm gonna set up firebase uh, uh, for our project so just move to firebase console and uh, if you haven't uh, registered you can register your account or uh, uh, you can sign up with google as well for free trial and uh, by add on uh, click on add project so it will ask you let's start uh, with project name uh, give you uh, any name like uh, i'm using my chat and continue it will ask you like uh, let me uh, resize it ask you uh, for uh, enable uh, google analytics uh, just recommend it okay and select your default account now create your project it will take a few seconds for creating your project and uh, till uh, take your package name of uh, your project and um, give me a second uh, you just uh, move to android app uh, inside app src main and main activity java uh, you can see very first line uh, this is our uh, package name for our project so just copy this and continue uh, our project has been uh, set up now let's uh, add application to it so just click on android and it will ask you the package name and uh, what you need to do uh, all of these are optional then uh, download this uh, to the next step and uh, till do you want thing like uh, i'm running my application in uh, the ios and uh, let uh, run it with uh, android also uh, open your project with android studio as well let me open my android studio first uh, i need to sync my cradle to see the process and uh, download the google json also uh, you can follow the instruction like inside android app for uh, app folder i have to paste this file so download google service json okay our android studio has been open as well so i'm um, in android engine app this is my android and uh, i have to paste inside my app so uh open it in the containing folder so so in the finder uh, my google service station so just drag it paste here now just uh, move to our google service station and here i had downloaded already another one so just uh, rename it if you had download anything anyone so this is google service station so here you can see it have our mobile SDK ID and it, here is our package name, client ID and API key. So all of these uh, we have in my Google JSON related to my Firebase. So just uh, continue our project with Firebase and one more thing I had to open my project. So open exhausting Android Studio project and it is in my inside uh, chat tab and uh, i have to open my android studio here close this one i do not need this open avt manager and uh, this is our nexus yeah, yeah. So uh, that's all for Android Studio. Well, uh, our Gradle is syncing. So let's uh, move to Firebase again. It will ask to next step. So here you have to follow the instruction. Like it is asking to add all of these line uh, to your project. So first, in, I, I gonna minimize it. Let's open our project to the side 
and uh, we'll follow the instruction accordingly. Uh, this is our project. So it is saying to project level build out a Gradle file. <coughs> so inside our Android, uh, we have file build out Gradle. This one. So it is asking like inside build script check whether uh, the following line you have or not check whether uh, global exists there or not so uh, move to our build script and uh, inside repository we have google already this one now it is asking for uh, dependency and we have to add uh, home gms google service 4.3.3 so inside dependency we have this line so copy this line from here and just press enter and paste it here save this one also <coughs> inside a project repository you have to check whether Google is there or not so this is your old project in a repository we have Google already so now it is asking to move app level uh, build out cradle so just uh, move inside app and uh, check here for build out cradle file uh, this one is here <coughs> now it is asking for uh, the apply plugin Android application and uh, after this we have to add our GMS Google service so copy this line and paste it after very first line also inside dependency we have to add uh, Firebase SDK for Google Analytics so copy this one if you are using so move to dependency let me search for this this one is dependencies and uh, here you can simply uh, you can paste here so that's all we had done this setup so uh, finally uh, press sync now and in up here in the IDE just move to next step it will uh, check whether your application communicate with the Firebase or not. So as I already open uh, with Android Studio, you need to uh, sync your Gradle again, as we had done in uh, build out Gradle file. And what we need to do, we had to. run our application in Android so press enter here make sure uh, you have uh, internet connectivity otherwise uh, it will not you know, communicate uh, the connectivity should be proper okay till I gonna quit this uh, emulator this one not gonna quit. it will take some time to run our application and uh, when we are able to run our application and at once it will uh, communicate uh, with the server what we need to do in the, once it's done we have to add uh, our configuration to firebase as I made this file already in the last video so we just need the API key our database URL our project ID or app ID and uh, firebase initializer the export default It is taking some time. Mm -hmm. yeah, for ninety nine per cent, it has been completed. Sorry, 
so many okay At very first time, like uh, when you, you are gonna install your application, very first time in your Android uh, so or iOS. Uh, so first time it uh, takes uh, some time. So you have to uh, just keep your patience and uh, uh, just wait while uh, it uh, launch. Okay, uh, guys. Uh, but uh, till I do some more setup to related to our project, so uh, very from very first video, uh, next video, and we will start implementing our UI portion. <coughs> so uh, for uh, like utility folder, I had uh, my constant and style helper, and uh, I had my global style inside here this file from uh, github like uh, we have container or uh, we have container center like we have all uh, full screen then we have center section center right line so this is the global style that will help us uh, for, for the application also uh, for the app style I had just uh, uh, like uh, a check for small device height like uh, I'm just considering uh, the small device uh, height uh, uh, is uh, having like a height of 650 only so I had mentioned it in my constant so you can change accordingly uh, according to your observation so uh, also uh, I'm, I am having my field height like input field height or any field height so I had uh, field height here mm -hmm. and margin I'm gonna taking throughout the application uh, this one is uh, like uh, if device is bigger and this one is for dev if device is uh, uh, having low size, uh, small size. Okay, and rest of these like our field background color, text color, or logo background color. Uh, this will be like uh, uh, constant. So I have my color file and the dark gray and white. Uh, so in my color file. So uh, this is some basic setup I had done. Uh, so we can use our style globally or uh, we have our application style as well so all of thing i i need uh, i import uh, the all of these in uh, my uh, index.js file of utility so you can just uh, find uh, this these thing from uh, my github okay now uh, let's see our applic uh, almost uh, js bundle, uh, bundle bundle is running it's downloading so let's see what happened. It's uh, taking some time to launch uh, application. Yeah, there you can see our application has been launched. And uh, if we move to Firebase, yeah. There you can see you had uh, congratulations you have successfully added Firebase to your application. Now we good, good to go. We had successfully added a uh, Firebase. So move to project setting. There you can see we have our project ID and just uh, and API key. Just uh, copy API key and uh, let open all of these thing and uh, my project uh, side by side well due configuration for uh, firebase so just uh, move to firebase uh, config file uh, what we need first we need our api key we have just uh, api key here and uh, next thing we need uh, our database url will we have to uh, created a database we will create it 
and uh, this is our project ID. So paste, uh, paste this one, and this one is your app ID. You can simply copy this here and uh, paste uh, to your app ID here. Uh, now, what we need, we need uh, our database. Just uh, move back uh, on Firebase, and uh, let's uh, check database uh, URL. So move to database. Uh, now uh, we have to create a database here and uh, start in production. Um, uh, start it in test mode and click on next and then click on done. After setting your location, so uh, here you can uh, set uh, your location accordingly. It will take some time. This is uh, setting our security goal. Okay. Like uh, first time setup will take uh, a lot of time, so you have to just uh, wait for it. Here, uh, this is created our, our Firebase database. Uh, so I had to switch to real time database as uh, for this uh, series. I'm going to use uh, real time database. So. You are seeing this URL, just copy this one and paste to our project. So I had paste here. So that's all configuration we had done. My only thing is remaining, I had to change the rules. As uh, currently, I think I have to not uh, read permission and write permission. So I just uh, change it to the true and write permission is also changed to true and publish the change. So successfully we had uh, uh, created uh, our database and changed its rule accordingly and uh, save all of this one. So let's uh, take a quick overview. We have uh, just uh, um, do configuration of Firebase. We got our app ID database URL project ID and uh, API key. So uh, we good to go. Also I had just uh, paste some st style in my global style and my app style that um, I'm going to use in my application so you can uh, you guys uh, can take uh, this uh, from my github repo uh, that's a link uh, paste uh, in the description so for next video we'll uh, start implementing our both screens so that's all for this video thanks mm -hmm.